The Berenstein Bears and the Missing Dinosaur Bone by Stan and Jan Berenstein. Bears lining up outside the door. Dr. Bear inside, pacing the floor. What's wrong in there? What's up? What's up? Wonder three little bears and one little pup. A dinosaur bone is missing in there. Somebody took it, said Dr. Bear. Who took that bone and who took it? Where? Three little bears and their hound dog snuff come inside with their detective stuff. There's no case too hard, no case too tough for the bear detectives and their hound dog snuff. The search begins, and none too soon, the bear museum opens at noon. They will search the place, every cranny and nook. Will they find the bone? Will they find the crook? A dark, dark room, a mummy's tomb. Is that the thief, that spooky face? No, that's the museum's mummy case. 11.15, time grows short. Now where would one hide a bone of that sort? It could be there inside that vase. The bone thief's perfect hiding place. You can look in that valuable vase if you must. And there's nothing in there but some valuable dust. Not much time left. Just half an hour. The bear detectives search the tower. There he is. The thief and the bone he stole. <sighs> Wrong again. That's an Indian totem pole. It's getting late, but still they look, and still no bone, and still no crook. Say, maybe bone thieves work in packs, three thieves with a sword and a gun and an axe. Wrong again. It's the museum's famous statues of wax. They had better find that leg bone soon. There's just one minute left till noon. With no more time to search and look, they know they will not catch that crook. They failed. This case is much too hard. Wait. What's that out there in the yard? That lump of ground, that bone-shaped mound. The missing bone. It's found. It's found with hound dog paw prints all around. The case is solved. No jobs too hard, no case too tough for the bear detectives and that bone thief snuff. The end.